everyone how are you i hope you all are fine so in this video we will discuss about the reactivity series okay in the previous video we had already discuss about the chemical properties and the physical properties oh so in this video we will discuss about the reactivity series okay so here is the reactivity series a reactive the reactivity series is a list of metals arranged in the order that decreases activity it means it is arranged in the order of their decreasing activity after performing the displacement experiment the following uh, series are arranged okay so known as the reactivity it is known as the reactivity series okay so they are arranged in the order of their decreasing activity so calcium is most reactive and here is the list reactive is gold after that silver mercury copper hydrogen lead iron zinc ammonium magnesium calcium potassium sodium and potassium from zinc the reactivity is decreases okay then how do metal and non metal react in the above activity you have saw the reaction of the metal with a number of reagents why do metal react with this one let the call that what we learned about the electronic configuration of elements in the class 9 we learned that the noble gas which have a completely filled valence cell so let us tackle activity we therefore explain it the reactivity of element as a tendency to attain a completely filled valence cell Let us have a look at the electronic configuration of noble gas and the some metal of and non metal. We can see table from three point three. That is, sodium atom has a one electron in its outer mass, outer most cell. Okay. Here.
because the nucleus has 70 proton and there are 18 electrons. Okay, that's why. The same thing is we are given by the help of this. This is the formation of sodium chloride. That is the form and it missed from the center. Sorry, sodium. There is uh, one electron releases from it, and here chlorine has to get one electron to complete. There is oh, it's okay. Okay. Now the sodium and chloride are being oppositely charged, attract each other, and are held by a strong electrostatic force of attraction so is it as a sodium chloride in its case. okay it should be noted that the sodium chloride does not exist as a molecule but aggregated sorry aggregates the oppositely charged ion let us see more information one more and it come on. okay these are the we can say these are the ionic compound okay that is the compound formed by the this manner of the transfer of electron. Okay, when we transfer, when the compound is formed by the transfer of electron, then the then the compound is called the ionic compound. Here is the definition is also given. The compounds formed in this manner by the transfer of electron from a metal to a non-metal are known as ionic compound or electrovalent compound. Can you name cation and an ion present in the CL2? Okay, you have to name here. Now here is about the properties of compound, ionic compound. To learn about the properties of ionic, let us perform this activity. It is the melting and the boiling point of are given of this metal. Okay. You have may have observed that the flowing in ionic compound. So these are the properties of the ionic compound: the physical nature, melting and boiling point, solubility and conduction of conduction of electricity. Firstly about the physical nature, okay. Now the physical nature that is the ionic compound are split and are somewhat hard because of because of uh, sorry because of the strong force of attraction between the positive and negative ion. These compounds are generally brittle and break into pieces now when the pressure is applied again there is a second property that is the metal and melting and the boiling point now the ionic compound have the high melting and boiling point this is because a considerable amount of energy is required to break this inter ionic compound okay strong inter ionic compound attraction after that solubility because electrovalent compound are generally soluble in water and insoluble in solvents so, such as kerosene, petrol, it is. Now, the conduction of electricity. The conduction of electricity through a solution involves the movement of charged particles. A solution of an ionic compound in water contains ions. It means in the solution of ionic compound, they contains ions. Now, which move to the opposite electrodes when the electricity is passed through the solution. It means when they pass it through the electricity, then they move to uh, move to the opposite electrode. Now the ionic compound in the solid state do not conduct electricity because movement of ion in the solid is not possible due to their rigid structure. It means ionic compound in the solid state do not conduct electricity because the movement of ion is not possible in the solid state because due to their rigid structure. Now the but ionic compound conduct electricity in the molten state. Okay, it means they conduct electricity is it in which state? In the molten state. This is possible in the molten state since the electrostatic forces of attraction between the positively charged ions are overcome due to the heat. Now thus the ions move freely and conduct electricity. That's why they conduct electricity in the molten state. After that there is an occurrence of metal. So let's see. The earth's crust is the major source of metal. Okay, it means the which are which is the major source of metal? The earth's crust. Okay, it means it is the me major source of metal. Sea water also contains some soluble salts such as sodium chloride, magnesium chloride, etc. 
the elements or, or compound which occur naturally in the earth crust are known as minerals it means those type of element or compound which are occur naturally in the earth crust they are known as the minerals at some places mineral contact a very high percentage of a particular metal and the metal can be profitably attracted extracted from it okay these minerals are called ores now those type of at some place that mineral contains a very high percentage okay of a particular metal so that metal is profitably extracted from it that's why they are called a these minerals are called ores extraction of metal you have learned about the reactivity series of metal that having this analysis you can easily understood that how a metal extracted from its ore now some metal are formed in the earth crust in the free state okay some there are also some metals that are found in free state in the earth crust now some are found in the form of their compound also the metal at the bottom of the activity series are the least reactive okay that we have seen that is gold and silver now they are often found in a free state they found in a free state for example gold silver platinum copper found in the free state copper and silver are also found in the combined state as they are sulfide or oxide ores copper and silver are found in the combined states okay as they are sulfide or oxide ores now the metal at the top of the activity series sorry activity series that is that are the potassium sodium calcium magnesium and aluminum are so reactive so and they are never found in the nature as a free elements the metal in the middle of the activity series that are the zinc iron lead they are the moderately reactive so they are found in the earth crust mainly as oxide sulfide and carbonates you will find that the ores of the many metal are, are oxides it means uh, we will find that ores of the many oxides are so many metals are oxide this is because oxygen is very reactive element and it is also very abundant on earth okay thus on the basis of reactivity we can uh, uh, we can group the metal into the flowing three categories that is the metal of low reactivity metal with the medium reactivity metal with the high reactivity different techniques are to be used for obtaining the metals falling in each category also now several steps are involved in the extraction of pure metals from ores okay now a summary of these steps is given in the figure each step is explained in detail okay in this figure okay enrichment of ore ores mined from the earth are usually con contaminated treated with the large amounts of impurities such as soil sand okay called gangrene it means these are the ores that are mined from the earth they are usually what contaminated with a large amount okay of impurities such as soil and sand they are called gangrene now the impurities must be removed from their uh, from the ore prior to extraction to the of the metal the process is Use for removing the gangue for uh, from the ore are based on the differences between the physical and the chemical properties of the gangue and the ore. Difference preparation technique are found. Not accordingly employed. After that, there is a extracting metal from low activity series, extracting metal in the middle activity series, and extracting metal for top of the activity series. And after that, we have the uh, refining of metals, corrosion. Okay, so these are the topics of this chapter. I hope you understand it. Yeah. Okay. So that's all for today. Thank you very much.